OB is more of a chronic cancer to PDP. So guys, how dangerous is Peter OB? How dangerous is Peter OB? Some people are already considering Peter OB a very big threat, you know, in this forthcoming election. But my joy is that it's the people that determines who governs them. You know, all this while, the youths in Nigeria refused to stand up, you know, to take back their country. But I'm so glad that at the moment, the youths are not looking back anymore. They want to take this country by fire, by force. And that is to tell you that it is the people that determines who governs them. Most times we keep complaining about our leaders. But who votes for those leaders? Mostly the youths. Mostly the youths, you know. We've been voting wrongly, but this time the youths are saying that we want a change. And you can see that the big political parties are already shaking. I want you to watch this video and you will come to know that Honestly, the big political parties are already shaking because Peter Obi is moving with a high speed and he's overtaking all these known political parties. Just take a look at this video. The dynamics this time around is different from the 2019 election. There wasn't as, as strong a third leg as we saw, I mean, as we're seeing now with the force that Peter Obi is bringing in the race and also seeing what uh, Kwan, uh, Rabbi Musa Kungonso is also doing. That means the race is no longer be a two-horse race, like we've always seen in 2015, in 2019, and in some other election cycle. If anything, uh, uh, the governor of um, uh, Anambra State said, uh, Professor Charles Soludo, <coughs> he said that uh, if I were Ashiwaju Tinobu, I would even give Peter Obi money as someone heading one of the departments of his campaign because Obi is making Tinobu's pathway to victory much easier by indirectly pulling down PDP. Now, do you fear that the pathway for your party is going to be slightly more difficult than 2019? And the fact that the, for those who are postulating to say Tinobu might be ahead of your candidate in the PDP, Atiku Abubakar. What are your permutations? You see, let me say to you again, I am a PDP member. I'm a leader in this party. But I've always said to you, you can't survive a storm when you hide the truth. Ubi is a danger to watch out for. I don't believe Ubi will make... 25% in two, in, in, in two thirds of a federal, in 24, 24 states. I don't believe Obi will make 25%. I'm not against Obi. I love him and he's a very vibrant leader. I don't believe it because of my own permutation as I have found But with God, nothing shall be impossible. But let me now say, Obi is more of a chronic cancer to PDP. That's no denying. Let me give you my analysis. In the Southwest here, people might not like to hear that. They might, they might say, Fire she is this. I don't see how, they, how PDP wants to win in the Southwest. Anybody deceiving us can continue to deceive us. I don't see how PDP will win in the Southeast. The South-South will be a combination of all interest. Let me now come back to the key states of the north. Without deceiving ourselves, there's so much work to be done in North Central. Both PDP and APC has picked no candidate either as president or vice president in North in uh, Northwest, which is uh, Kaduna and so on and so forth. Leaving the northeast, the north, the northeast is is where you have um, the candidate of the APC and uh, Yobe and and um, what's what's it called now? Yobe and state Bono, and Adamawa state for yeah and so on. Then we give Adamawa state to 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 our party. But don't forget, I say another Kwan Kwan so who is a semi cancer. All right. That can you call you on stage figures in the north? Even if they want to support us in the north, it's not that they will be running with the PDP will be running with the votes there. 
All right, Governor Fowler. Yeah. Reconciling or negotiating with Obi will be a good a good thing. So, guys, you have seen that Peter Obi has no rival. Peter Obi is shaking the polity. Peter Obi is shaking the political space in Nigeria. And I tell you, other African countries are looking at us. They are looking at us. Let us stand up and give this Nigeria a new face. Please, if you have not joined the obedient family, what are you waiting for? Please join the obedient movement. Become one of us. Get your PVC and let us vote for Peter Obi. And if you are an obedient out there, I have no doubt you have your PVC with you. Please keep talking to the people. Talk to your parents. Talk to your siblings. Talk to everybody around you. The people at your place of work. Talk to them. Talk to anybody that comes across your way. Convince them to vote for Peter Obi. And let's give our country a new face. Because with Peter Obi, a new Nigeria is possible. Please, if you are an obedient out there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please turn on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you.